Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I do my best here to share practical information about all things related to living a successful, fulfilled life in Israel. Today I'm going to cover a vital topic for putting pita on the table, and that's researching salaries when entering the Israeli job market. This isn't an exhaustive list, of course, so if you know some things that I've omitted here, please feel free to jump in with a comment. Let's go. Tip one, ask your friends. Probably the easiest way to get a sense for what realistic salaries might be in Israel for your occupation and level of professional experience is asking your friends who are working in the same field. Of course, this is an imperfect method. Your friends might be working in cities with a higher wage base, or they might have other factors working in their favor like a better professional command of Hebrew. But they might be able to provide you with a useful ballpark of where salaries are standing first common occupation say content writing or UX design. Tip two, ask headhunters. Another great resource for figuring out credible pay ranges in Israel are professional headhunters or recruitment firms. A variety of these exist in Israel and some even specialize in placing English speakers in jobs. Some popular agencies include Urban Recruits, Leap and Recruit IL. I'll put links to a couple of these in the video description. Typically, headhunters will ask you for a copy of your CV that's resume for Americans, as well as a run through of what you're looking for. They can then usually offer their thoughts on what kind of salary expectation might be realistic. One advantage of job hunting through headhunters is that they know the pay range which companies are willing to pay for a position, in other words, the salary budget. This makes the playing field a lot more level, in my opinion, than applying for positions directly. When you do that, company recruits will typically ask you for your salary expectations straight off the bat and exclude you if you're not in range. But if you go too low, well, they've got themselves a great deal. Using a third party that knows both the budget range of the company and the salary expectations of the candidate prevents job seekers from getting ripped off. Tip three, check out Glassdoor. There are a few websites in which people who have worked at various jobs can leave anonymous details of what they're getting paid. One of these is Glassdoor. There are plenty of Israeli companies who have relatively well-populated profiles on Glassdoor these days, especially the bigger tech employers like Wix to offer one example. You can look through the salaries the previous hires have posted and if there's one matching your level of experience. There was also a Hebrew paid called Vidue Sachar, which translates to Salary Confessions, which was on Facebook. This page posted salaries based on verified pay stubs. Unfortunately, it no longer seems to be active, but you can take a look through the old post to see what some people are making in your field. Tip four, check salary surveys. The major headhunting and job listing platforms in Israel, including Yaj Daim, periodically post salary tables. As in other countries, these are based upon the averages that they've seen in jobs that they listed or in candidates that they have placed. Quite a number of these exist. In order to find the latest ones, you're best focusing on a few specific keywords in Hebrew. The best keyword I found is Tablaot Sachar. This translates literally to salary tables, but what it will dredge up is a listing of salary bands organized according to occupation and experience level. The job market in Israel is relatively vibrant, although there's a lot of concern at the moment that the slowdown in the high paying high tech sector will make for a slower job market for candidates. Unfortunately, we haven't seen a legislative push in Israel requiring employers to disclose their salary budget when listing positions. Hopefully, as this becomes an increasing global trend, we'll see more pressure on Israeli companies to follow suit and create a more level playing field and better transparency for job seekers. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.